and the Honourable Member Calgary Elbow. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What used to be hidden in the shadows has finally started to come to light. For far too long, women who have been sexually assaulted or harassed in the workplace have been silenced or dismissed. But finally, our society is coming to terms with this injustice and increasingly, women are being heard. But it's only the beginning. To the Premier, how does the Government of Alberta support women and all people who have faced harassment seek assistance? And do you have confidence that the current process is adequate? The Honourable Premier. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member for that uh, very, very important and timely question. Uh, let me say that uh, our government knows that we have more work to do, and I look forward to being able to talk about some of the things that we will do. I will say that going forward, should there be a change in government in a year and a half, uh, such that the UCP was in charge, I am deeply deeply concerned about what will happen to women in this province. I am deeply, deeply concerned that almost 10 years after the member opposite was found to have fired somebody illegally for raising sexual harassment, that they now come forward and say, oh, we are remorseful. I am not at all, I have no faith in this. Thank you. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now, earlier today, I reviewed the respectful workplace policy that applies to government employees. My concern is not so much with the policy itself, but whether there is adequate education process to ensure that these policies are widely known and understood. Again, to the Premier, will you commit to ensuring that there is a strong emphasis on education to ensure that all employees know about the protections available to them and that they can confidently come forward to report incidents of harassment and bullying? The Honourable Premier. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, yes, I absolutely can commit to that. As a result uh, of uh, the ultimate uh, passage of uh, Bill 30, of course, there are stronger rules and will be stronger rules in Alberta with respect to sexual harassment uh, policies. Um, in addition, because we already have those policies in the Government of Alberta, but they can definitely be stronger and definitely we can do a better job of promoting and educating about them. Our government has already taken steps to expand that work outside the Government of Alberta. Uh, with um, uh, the uh, I Believe You campaign, for instance, that uh, the um, um, mi Minister of, uh, women's, uh, of women's, women's Issues has dealt with, and we will... Thank you, Honourable Premier. Second supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now, when I looked at the Government of Alberta's respectful workplace policy, I was concerned to see that there is a 14 to 30-day limit to report an incident. Again, to the Premier. In light of how long it can take individuals, especially women, to feel comfortable reporting harassment, will you review this limit to, see, to ensure that anyone can come forward in their own time? The Honourable Premier. Well, indeed, Mr. Speaker, we absolutely will do that. Uh, our practice right now is to allow for complaints to come forward after that period of time, but obviously, if you've got those rules in place, people would be discouraged. So we will be uh, changing that immediately. As well, Mr. Speaker, you'll know that we changed uh, 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 the law to allow for uh, victims of harassment to file claims much, much, much uh, uh, long, uh, for going back much further than they were before, and that was a change that we made uh, earlier in this session, Mr. Speaker. It is fundamental important that all members of this House understand that if people are uh, the victims of harassment that they ha can complain about it, raise it, and not have to work.